Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I am an adult services librarian at Santa Clara City Library Central Park. In today's crafting from home video, I will be showing you how to create a Mod Podge wine bottle that can be used as a decorative piece or perhaps as a vase of sorts. Um, this craft is really easy and something that could be done as a family, so please continue watching and learn how to create this craft. We are now going to review the supplies that we'll need in order to make this craft. Mod Podge and a brush. An empty and cleaned wine bottle. Tissue paper in a variety of colors. I went ahead and cut mine into circles. You can use any shape you'd like. So as you can see, I have all of my supplies laid out in front of me. And the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a thin layer of the Mod Podge to the wine bottle. And I'm gonna be doing it in chunks. So I'm gonna be starting at the top and again, it's a matter of applying a thin layer and because the tissue itself is very thin, placing it on and then rubbing it on gently. And then just making sure that it adheres to the surface and getting rid of any bubbles. And as you can see, that's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna begin the process of adding a bit more glue and then gluing on the next piece of tissue paper um, given that I did choose to go with three different colors, I wanted to layer them as much as possible to create a, a kind of stained glass feel, as well as create other colors through the layers. So again, I'm going to be repeating that process of adding a layer or adding a piece of tissue and then um, adding more Mod Podge until I make my way around the bottle. When beginning the second layer, or the second row, I should say, of the um, tissue paper on the wine glass, I chose to alternate colors so that um, you were able to differentiate them. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're going along. You do want to create some sort of contrast between the colors that you're using. Um, and again, I'm just going to speed through um, most of the video so you can see what happens. So once I was nearing the completion of my second row, I decided to begin sealing these two rows together by applying a thin layer of Mod Podge from top to bottom. Um, this was an effort on my behalf to begin sealing the tissue to the bottle and Basically, as I went along, I would do these um, strokes from top to bottom um, to ensure that the shapes um, were sealed together. And so, um, to avoid having this video be more than 10 minutes long, I'm going to skip towards the end, um, which will show the bottle when it's completely covered and my process for sealing it from top to bottom. Basically, I'm just repeating what I've been doing um, since I initially began to cover it until up until this point, until I've reached the bottom. So again, it's a matter of alternating colors, adding a bit of Mod Podge, adding the tissue to the Mod Podge, rubbing it on, and then repeating the process of sealing the rows together. Okay, so we are now at the point where I applied my um, final piece of tissue to the bottle. This is the completed bottle with all of the tissue paper. And I am now going to begin the process of sealing it from top to bottom. And um, 
again, this is just to ensure that all of the pieces of tissue are securely adhered to the bottle. And I'm just gonna fast forward through this process. Um, just a reminder, reminder to keep your layers of Mod Podge um, as thin as possible. As you can see, I was a bit heavy handed when I started applying my final layer of Mod Podge. Um, but just, just keep that in mind as you go along. Um, the thinner it is, um, the quicker it dries. So, and we want to avoid um, leaving a white cast on the bottle. We do want it to be transparent in the end. So just keep that in mind as you go along. So this is what the completed bottle looks like in natural lighting. And this is what the completed bottle looks like when um, the light from the window is coming through. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more crafting cooking tutorials from Santa Clara City Library staff. Have a good day.